Welcome to the March edition of our newsletter. This month, we're talking about wacky wild weather. Hi, I'm Kendra. And I'm Melody. We think you're gonna love this month's activities that we've chosen to help you infuse language as you talk, read, play, create, and sing with your child. Remember, give, give me, me five. five. The first section of the newsletter is talk. And oh my goodness, haven't we had so much to talk about with this wild, wacky weather that we had last month and that polar vortex that swept down the plains of Oklahoma, bringing those frigid temperatures. And here we are in March, and there's no telling what the weather will be like then. We might have sunshine one day, a thunderstorm the next day. Hopefully the tornadoes will stay away. But March roars in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. Have you ever heard that? Have you ever talked to your child about that? And then by the end of March, it's spring and we have a gentle breeze usually. You know, kids like the weather. They can be a meteorologist. You could introduce that word to them. They can go to the window every day and see what the weather is like. Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it partly cloudy? Is it overcast? You can introduce lots of really interesting words to them. And I think they'd like being called a meteorologist. You know, your child might decide, hey, it's, it's overcast today, maybe I need a jacket. Or, you know, that wind looks like it's really blowing outside, I might have to take a coat today. Or, the sun is shining and it feels really nice and warm on my skin, I think I can just wear a t-shirt today. I think there are lots of opportunities and uh, ways that you can talk to your child about the weather. Lots of fun words like lightning and thunder and, and all sorts of experiences that go with that. The weather gives you lots of opportunities to talk to your child and introduce new vocabulary words, laying that foundation for later academic success. Remember, give me five. The second section of the newsletter is read. I think this is my favorite part because I love books. I think wacky wild weather or any kind of weather really is the perfect chance to read a book. Is it cold and snowy like during the polar vortex last month? Great, read a book. Is it raining? Read a book. Is it hot and sunny? Read a book, stay inside. Or go and find a shade tree and sit out in the beautiful sunshine and read a book. Any kind of weather is perfect for reading. I hope you take this month to read with your child. We've collected a few really great uh, books about weather. They're mostly um, informational text or nonfiction. This is a great way for you to build background knowledge and knowledge of the world for your child. Your child needs to take a really strong uh, understanding of the world and the way the world works into school to become a proficient reader. I'm just going to read you a few uh, little excerpts. I chose Feel the Wind because, you know, here in Oklahoma, we're the state where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. I don't know any part of Oklahoma that the wind doesn't blow, but if you live in western Oklahoma, the wind really blows out there. I just want to read a few pages to you. Have you felt the wind blowing through your hair? Wind is moving air. Air is what we breathe. It is everywhere around us, even though we can't see it. You can just read that one page to your child and talk about all the concepts that are on that page. Lots of information and background knowledge that they would gain. We can't see the air and we can't see the wind, but we can see the wind move things. Wind pushes clouds across the sky. Wind flutters the leaves of trees and makes ripples on lakes. You can hear the wind too. When the wind blows through cracks in your house, it can sound like someone whistling. If the wind blows very hard, it can sound like an ant, a wild animal howling. So just a few pages of that book and lots of concepts that you could talk to your child about. When you go outside, you could say, is the wind blowing? How can you tell? Maybe they're gonna answer because I can feel it on my face or I can see the leaves moving or oops, it's blowing down the books or maybe it's moving the clouds across the sky. There are lots of um, ways that you can tell that the wind is moving. And this is another one of my favorites, all about weather. And it's for a really young child, and I'm just going to read a couple of pages. The first page says, what is weather? What a great question. Step outside. What does the sky look like? What does the air feel like? 
and these children say, the sky is blue, the air feels warm, that's the weather. And the weather changes, as we know here in Oklahoma, stick around for a few minutes and it's likely to change. We hope that you'll take the time, maybe go to the public library and see what interesting books that you can find about the weather. We've included some up here by our favorite author, Gail Gibbons. She writes lots of wonderful books about weather, even tornadoes. Lots of fun, exciting weather coming up in the spring. We hope that you'll take this opportunity to read books about the weather and talk to your child and introduce that new vocabulary. Remember, every day, give me five. Children are natural born helpers. They love helping out in the kitchen. My grandchildren love to come in, especially when we have big family gatherings, and see what I'm doing in the kitchen as I'm cooking the meal for them all. They want to help. A lot of times they get in your way, but sometimes it's just fun to bring them in there and have them help you whatever you're doing. This month, we decided to do a recipe, some snack recipes about weather. We recreated some weather things as snacks. Brecken loved doing this activity. And I, it was very hard to keep him out of the food as we were, as we were filming this video. Watch as we do some activities together on creating some weather snacks. Remember, give me five. What are we talking about this month? Weather. Weather. We are talking about weather. And you know what we're going to do today what? for our create part? We're going to make some weather snacks. You like snacks, don't you? You like the snack cabinet in Anna's pantry, don't you? Well, we're gonna make weather snacks. And the first one we're going to make is going to use some crackers and some carrots. So we're going to put, we don't need the, the cutting board and we don't need the knife, so I want you to get the crackers and put them right on top of each other. And you like crackers, don't you? And you, know, you told me you like carrots too. So I want you to put carrots coming out Okay, and put one over here, right across from it. Oh, I like how you're putting the fat side close to the crackers. One up here, one down here, and let, that one's a little, here, let's turn it around. Why don't we put it down here, and why don't you put two in between each of those? Carrots and crackers. What do you think these carrot, these carrots and these crackers are going to make? A sun. A sun. There. Does that look like a sunshine? Mm -hmm. What is this? The, the, that's the middle. That's the middle of the sun? And what are these? Um, the little things that stick out from the sun. And do you know what those are called? Mm -hmm. Those are called the sun's rays. Mm -hmm. Can you say rays? Rays. These are sun rays, and this is the sun. And the sun rays are what is, is the light that comes out and the heat because the sunshine's really warm, isn't it? Now we've made our pretty sunshine with crackers and carrots. And um, next we're going to make the what? Storm. The storm one. What is this? A, an uncrustable. So I'm, I'm going to cut it and make it look kind of like a cloud, okay? Okay. You're cutting off the edges. I am cutting off the edges. I want it to look kind of rounded. The clouds don't have those crinkled edges, do they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get the tape, the plate. I want you to grab the cloud and put it at the top. Okay, now what's going to come out of the cloud? When we have a thunderstorm, what do we see and hear? Lightning. Lightning and thunder. What does lightning look like? Is it just a straight line? Is it a curved line like a rainbow? Is it a jagged line? Okay, we're going to make a jagged line. So this jagged line is going to go like this. Does that kind of look like lightning? Okay, so lift up your cloud. Beep. Now set your lightning on top of your cloud on top of your lightning. Beep. Oh, that I, that looks really good, doesn't it? What what else happens during a, a thunderstorm? 
rain. And what are we going to use as our rain? Blueberries. Blueberries. So you just need to put a bunch of blueberries all around the place, not in any kind of line or anything like that. Here, let me help you do some. Our sun, some can be close together, some can be far away. Very good. So does that look like a thunderstorm? Mm -hmm. What's going to be your favorite thing to eat of this thunderstorm? The Uncrustable? Oh, I think that'd be my favorite thing to eat too. Okay. Okay, so we've now made a sunshine for sunny weather. And we've made a thunderstorm. Now we're just going to make what? What do you want to make now? Rain. Raining. We're going to make raining. And what do I have here? A banana. A banana. And I'm going to cut this banana. And as I'm cutting it, you're just going to place these. We because the listen just a minute. The rain comes out of big fluffy clouds. So you just need to to put them all in a stack and pile them together. Stay away from my knife. Okay, you put the last one on. Now what do we need coming out of that big old puffy cloud? Blueberries. Blueberries. You put them on your side, I'll put them on mine. Okay. You know what? I think we can just drop them on there. Because rain's rain doesn't come straight down in lines, does it? It's just a whole bunch of raindrops. Don't use all my blueberries. Oh, that one was, was right up in the cloud, wasn't it? So now you've made a rain, a rain cloud with blueberries, right? And bananas. Which is your favorite snack, you think? Which of all of these snacks, which one do you want to eat first? The thunderstorm? Mm -hmm. Okay, but if this was real weather, what's your favorite kind of weather? Mm. Snowy. What? Snow. Snowy. Why is that your favorite kind of weather? Because I get to yell out. You can go out and play on it. We had a whole lot of snow, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We did. Did you get enough snow on during that snow? Yeah, yeah. But it was a, it was fun when you got to go sledding. Did Papa go sledding with you? <laughs> that was pretty funny, wasn't it? Watching him go down the hill. Watching him go down the hill. I know. Okay, so snowy weather's your favorite kind, huh? Okay. This month, I chose a weather bingo game to play with Frecken. Bingo is a fun game, no matter what, what topic you include in it. I remember in the classroom, we used to play addition bingo and subtraction bingo. We played bingo with all sorts of topics in the classroom. And I've included the link to this weather bingo on our newsletter. It includes bingo cards, And then the cards you choose to, to see which item you cover up on your bingo board. Brecken was bound and determined he was going to beat me. We had a wonderful discussion prior to the game, and he said he will always beat me. Brecken loves to play games with me. He always likes to win. And for some reason, on all of our videos, Brecken wins. Bingo, we bingoed at the same time. So technically, we were both winners, but not to Brecken. Remember, game night can be an exciting time with your children. They love spending time with you, and they always want to win. Every day, give me five. <laughs> okay, for our play this time, you know what we're going to do? Bingo. Bingo. You can already see that this is bingo, aren't you? Okay, so you get to pick your card. Which card do you want? You want that card or this card? This one? Okay. You know, every single time we play the game, I think, on these videos, you beat me. Now, I don't think that's going to happen this time. So, we use these to cover up our bingo. And what does a bingo mean? When you get three in a row going across, three in a row going upside down, or three in a row, what? what's this word? Di diagonally. diagonally, diagonally, and it can come this way too, okay? 
from this corner down here or this corner down here? Okay, so our first card, let me mix them up so I can't see them. Oh, I hope I beat you this time. You always win. Because I'm the game ruler. This is cloudy, so find cloudy. Do you have cloudy? Yeah. Cover it up with your marker. I had cloudy too. Rainy, do you find the one that's rainy? I have rainy too. Well, if I could pick it up. This means windy. Do you know what that's a picture of? Do you remember what we made last month with the heart and the streamers coming down? That was called a what? Wind chime. Not a wind chime, a wind sock. Mm -hmm. This is what a wind sock looks like at an airport. Rocket. Yeah. And so that means the wind's blowing it. If, the, if it wasn't windy, that windsock would just hang, be hanging down limp, okay? So did you have the windsock? Thermometer. Oh. That's why you picked that one. What does a thermometer do? Do you know? What's that, what does that have to do with weather? It tells you how hot and cold it is. Excellent. It tells us how hot and cold it is. So let me ask you something. If this red in this thermometer goes way down low, does that mean cold or hot? Cold. cold. So if it goes way up high, that means what? Hot. hot. You are right. Boy, you're so smart. Okay, partly cloudy. Do you have partly cloudy? No, you have rain on that one. Partly cloudy is just a sun and a cloud, and I had that one. So we both have four right now. Ooh, look what we have next. Sunny, do you have Sunny? Bingo. Bingo. I just said it first. You said it first. So did you win the game? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about these other ones. This means there's rain showers. That means it's not raining all day long. It rains for a little while and the sun comes out. And it rains for a little while and the sun comes out. Stop. Act right. And then we have, what's this? What do you think those things right there are? Snow. Snow. That's your favorite kind of weather, isn't it? Yeah. What's this? Tornado. Tornado. Have we ever been in a tornado? What, what do we have to do when there's a tornado coming? Shelter. Where, where do we go? Here, here at Nana's house. Y'all come up to my house and we go outside to the what? To the storm shelter, to the cellar, don't we? To the storm shelter, to the tornado shelter. And then this one was upside down. And what's that coming out of that one? Lightning, isn't it? So we usually have lightning and rain in a thunderstorm, don't we? Yeah. So these cards go along with these. These weather cards go along with our bingo cards, don't they? That was kind of fun. You always beat me. And you always will. For singing this month, we chose the weather song. We've included the lyrics to the song on the newsletter, and it is sung to the tune of Oh My Darling Clementine. If you are unfamiliar with that tune, you can always do a search on YouTube to find it. It's a song that I remember from my childhood. I, we always sang that song in music. Brecken loves singing this song. We kind of practiced a little bit before we started videoing with him today, and he did not get the two end stanzas on, on either part of the song, but it talks about all the different kinds of weather. Watch and listen as we sing this song together, the weather song. Remember, give me five. We're going to sing a weather song because we always sing, don't we? So today we're not going to though. We're just going to sing the weather song. And we practiced this a little bit, didn't we? Okay. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it windy? Is it rainy? Is it cold? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? 
Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is it stormy? Is it hot? So what was the weather like today where we are? You said it was hot. It was a lot warmer than it has been. And it was also, if it was hot outside, what has to be happening? What has to be out looking down at us from the sky? Clouds? The sun. So it has to be sunny. Was it really sunny today? Yeah, Nana had to use her. I had to use my sunglasses, didn't I? Yes, I did. Because it was way sunny today. We haven't had a lot of sunshine lately. But we had it today, didn't we? And again, what's your favorite kind of weather? Snow. Snow. If it can't snow, what would you rather it do? Sunny. Sunny? What kinds of things do you do outside when it's sunny? Do you get to go outside when it's sunny? Mm -hmm. What do you and the babies do? What do you and Journey and Legend do when it's sunny? We go, um, we go over here and jump in the pool. You go over, you come over here and jump in the pool? Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. When it's sunny, a lot of times you go with your daddy too, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when it's bad weather, you can't go with your daddy on the farm, can you? No. But you can when it's sunny. Okay. Well, maybe we'll have another sunny day tomorrow. Okay? Hope so. I don't want any more snow. We hope you've enjoyed the activities we chose for this month's newsletter, Wacky Wild Weather. We had a lot of fun doing the activities and reading the books. Wild, wacky weather. Isn't that just fun to say? This newsletter provides so many opportunities for you to infuse language with your child. We hope that you have a fun month doing that as you talk, read, play, create, and sing with your child every day. Remember, give, give me five. five.